Hello there! Oh man, it's been some time since I have played Tumbi or Tumba or whatever. Uh, yeah, long story short, I accidentally slightly lost uh, the final stream of the game. So, you know, that was good. Um, <laughs> I did well. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna... I fortunately found a save state that actually was the final save state before the end game so that's amazing bit of luck right there um so i basically looked at what i need and what i need to do and all that jazz so we're gonna start with trick village i think um the ten thousand year old man's room so there was a, there's six quests in particular that we are missing um there's hide and go seek tree of knowledge nose blue hidden powers five golden items what the thief forgot and the boss's treasure most of these are easy if i'm correct because I have all five golden items, I just need to talk to the 10,000 year old man and we beat the quest. Whoa! This glow! This shine! These have to be the five golden items! I can't believe you really found them! Alright then, let's trade for my psychic fish, fair and square. I got the psychic fish that will never be used. The psychic fish gives you wondrous powers, but one small mistake can be deadly. Listen carefully now. Using this fish will make you run faster and jump higher than ever before. But if you overuse it, you'll be diving straight down into the valley. When you don't need the power of the fish anymore, you must use it again. That will return you to your normal primitive self. In other words, use the fish wisely. Don't waste its special powers, comprende? I wonder if there are any unusual fish out there. Well, so that's one down. <laughs> so the problem with the blue hidden powers um, to get that, you need to essentially, well, uh, we use the psychic fish just to show it off. Um, but yeah, you need to, you jump high, you, you run faster, it's good stuff. So yeah, you need to, um, you need to kill quote-unquote blue enemies. The problem with that is in this game, blue enemies are rare. And there are, yeah, they're, they're rare. So there are a couple of places where blue enemies do exist. Here is one of them. Um... Now, I can't guarantee anything, because I don't know if the fish are actually still here, because we drained the water. I'm going to assume they're not, which does make it a slight problem. Um, so, with that logic, there are other places you can go. Um, I wouldn't have left us in the lurch. Um, so, we'll go to the dwarf forest, the Wobbly Wharf. So there are a couple of enemies. There's um, there's a needle gator, um, where we can get, um, but there's an enemy here, and I don't know how much experience it will give us. We'll find out. That's the beauty of this. We will find out. But yeah, I think you take more. I think you take double damage. Also, you run automatically. You don't need to hold down square. Um, oh god, are the enemies here gone? Wow. Maybe actually. Incredible, yeah, they, they totally are. Unless these fish, I was gonna say, unless these fish somehow give me the power that I'm I'm assuming from that, they do not. So that's good. Um, that that's cool. Uh, so that means there's literally one place. <laughs> that that's handy, isn't it? All right. Well, on the plus side, I know where that is. So let's. I don't know why I ran over here to do that. <laughs> I could use Baron anywhere. Um. So, yes, we need to go to Phoenix Mountain. Stormy Mountain. Um, Needle Gators, I guess, are the only ones that are left. The downside to this, part two, is I'm only level two and I need to be level ten, which means me killing God knows how many. This will not be quick. I'm heavily tempted to just cut away until I do it. Because yeah, this this will this will take some time. Um, I don't I do not know how long it's gonna take. I I can pray that it will be quick. But yeah, this is this is basically the one thing we're missing. Um, that will be a problem. And it's only because the game really just doesn't have many of, of these enemies. It's not really a massive fault of my own. Um, if you don't know about it, which I had forgotten about back in the streams, yeah, there's really no way of knowing. It's, it's pretty good. Um, I forget how you're supposed to deal with them, though. I guess you just hit them like that. And then, ta-da, magic happens. Um, if I leave and come back, I presume it will return. 
Um, it's not the quickest, but it will do. Also, I'm going to um, turn off the psychic fish because it's mildly annoying now. Um, so, yes. Um, am I right in thinking the enemy returns? I certainly hope so. I am! Is that what I'm doing for the next 10 minutes? Possibly. Wow, that's not quick. Okay, so I'll see if there are any more around here where it's like, hey, you can get two more by doing... Yeah, there is another one up here. So I can at least get two. Yeah, this is not going to be quick. Yeah, there's only two, really. Oh, no, there's another one here. Um, okay, so there's, there's three. I will spe- Oh, the enemy- Wait, the enemy respawns by going back- Oh! Oh, that will be quicker. If that is consistently- If that's consistently respawning both of them, then that is quicker than leaving the world and coming back. That would be nice. That would be really nice. Please, game, do this to me. So we're level 3. We need to be level 10, as I say. Um, so... I guess it's not quick, but it, it does the job, you know. So, yes, we will see how this goes. Um, yeah, it, it does mean I, I have to essentially kill... Uh, how many is that? 70? Yeah, pretty much. That's... yeah. See you later. <laughs> oh my god, what the flippin' hell is this? That was... what the... okay. Oh my god, I've done it! Yes! Finally! Jesus! <laughs> that took way too long. Where is Baron? Baron, take me to... The old pond. There we go. Wow, that seriously took way too long. Oh my god. That took about 10 minutes. My life has been shortened somehow. It's, uh... Yeah, this is... Oh boy. <laughs> But uh, yes, in theory, if I'm understanding correctly, it should be under here and it should be available now. Because we have what we need. Oh no, it's not here. Why is it not here? Maybe it's in Trick Village. It might be in Trick Village. I was convinced it was in the pond. I really hope it's here. <laughs> I really, really hope it is. I couldn't tell you exactly where it is. And you know what? Because my health is so low, we're going to use an item. Large lunchbox. It will heal us fully. Um, which is pretty handy. Um, that's just a bit of death. So yeah, let's uh, there we go. Let's check around here. It's got to be around here. If it isn't, I will be genuinely sad. But I I can't see how it wouldn't be. I don't know where, but it it's got to be around here. After I said it, it sound, it felt right. So I'm assuming it is around here. There it is. Cool. See, there you go. We have it, right? We do! Blue in powers! Oh my god. Oh my god. So, let's use Baron again. Because we have seen the... Uh, deep jungle. Uh, yeah, because we've seen the 10,000 year old man with the five golden items, I believe the Tree of Knowledge should be give me what I need, because I have all five items, and I've completed that quest, I think, I hope, if not, I do not know what I have to do for this quest. You think you want to ask the tree? Five gone items, okay, wait a minute, yes. Um, well, you're trying to gather some things that are really difficult to find. Ready? The old tree says, gone flowers and dwarf flower gone, uh-huh, uh -huh. and one more we've got. That, that the Mocross course sounds vaguely familiar. Also, if any of these items, you need to do something in order to get them, okay? Cool! 
interesting that the tree only tells me about that after I've collected all of them, but I think it's more I need to initiate the golden item quest with the 10,000 year old man, not finish it. So that would be why I didn't have that available, and that explains a lot. So, that means we have three quests left, and they're all actually sort of quite next to each other. So we're gonna go to the haunted ma no we're not, we're going to, I tell a lie, we're going to, um, lava caves. And the reason we're going to lava caves is there's, um, What the Thief Forgot. Um, What the Thief Forgot is his sack of treasures, and it's actually, believe it or not, um, uh, it's in the exact same place you found him the first time. So, I remember at the time being like, oh, how didn't I work that out? And, I, and by at the time, I mean the stream, which was, was it, what was it, August? A long time ago. <laughs> Um, but yeah, here it is. It's literally right here. What the thief forgot? Acquired. Um, and now we have to find the thief who is in the uh, haunted village. Um, or the uh, haunted mansion. So... Problem is, I don't remember where, so... <laughs> that's fine. We've got three places to search, which is okay. Um, there's three... That means there are three different tasks all in the haunted mansion. Um, which is hide and go seek. What the Thief Forgot, and the boss's treasure. And the boss's treasure is uh, unlocked, I think, after you do What the Thief Forgot. So, we're starting here for no particular reason besides it might be the place. I don't know. I don't remember this layout at all. It's been a long time. It's not here. So, we're just going to systematically check some rooms, and that'll that'll do us, I guess. That'll do us. You know, you know us. That'll do us. Um, so yeah, there is a room that has, like, hay on the wall, and, uh, and when, when that wall says hay to you, you gotta, you gotta say hay back, and burn it. Um, yeah, no, it, by hay, I mean H-A-Y, a, a bale of hay, a, st a stash of hay on the wall, if you will. Um, you wanna burn that hay. Not this room. Uh, <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of... Hmm, is it here? No. Is it there? No. Is it? Mm, eh. Really hope it's not in the uh, the laughing door because that would suck a lot actually. I don't think he is. I don't see why he would be because how would he get there? Okay, well there's the boss. That's cool. I just need to see him afterwards. I just need to find the thief man first. So, we know where that is. Is he up here? He is! Yo! Can you I lost it again? I've been hiding here so my boss doesn't find me! I think I lost it right over there! I don't want to go down though because I don't want my boss to find me! What should I do? I should give it to you. And he's like, OH MY! YOU FOUND IT! <laughs> Thanks a lot! What the thief forgot? Thief is a word I can never remember how to spell. I always put the E before the I. Here, I want you to have this. It's for helping me so many times. It's loads of cheese. We have way too much cheese. I'm gonna go give this back to my boss before I lose it again. Okay, see ya. And now we know exactly where the boss is as well. So that's handy, right? It sure is. The great thing is, um, the last quest we can do outside of story stuff is actually gonna be the, uh, um, is going to be the hide and go seek, which is quite fitting considering how early on in the game you get it. Hey there, long time no see! Uh, what was your name? My treasure. Oh, I had to give it back. To me. I had him give it back to me. I have it right here. Would you like to see it? Uh, uh, uh oh. Uh, <laughs> oh, I lost it. The stuff inside too. Gone! Oh, uh, well, it's probably lying around here somewhere. If you find it, you can have it. Must not be that important to me if I've lost it. Take it, you thief. Oh, wait a minute, I'm the thief. <laughs> oh, it's good stuff. The boss's treasure. I believe you just need to open this chest. I'm pretty sure it's that simple. I did it. Boss's jewel acquired. There you go, done. Um, let's take a look at that, shall we? Can't use this here. I have absolutely no idea what that does. I'm sure it does something grand. I could not tell you what. But hey ho, so that leaves one more quest to complete. Um, and I don't know where it is. Yan's around here somewhere. 
Is he in one of these rooms? Possibly. I don't remember. Not that one. That takes you down to the underground mining area. Uh, or the underground maze, I should say. Uh, which has one of my favourite things in the game. It is a lovely, lovely piece. Oh, right. Whoops. My bad. Um, yeah, it's a lovely piece of music. Love it. Not here. This is, uh... There was a treasure chest and one of the quote-unquote friends you've made along the way, even though you've never spoken to this guy before in your life. <laughs> but he's grateful that you helped and stuff. It is it is quite weird, but it's just like, hey, you know this person you've never seen? Well, best friends now. That That's how it works. I think it's one of these rooms. I couldn't be 100% sure, but it feels right. So we will see if we can find it. Not that one, that's where the mermaid is. That's right. Mermaid! That was a good playthrough with Sam back in the day. That was one of the like first playthroughs we had where we had an actual working capture card of sorts. Because I did not understand how capture cards worked for the longest time because I was stupid and didn't really understand technology. Um, and I wonder how different like my YouTube channel would be had I understood how it all worked and whatnot. Um, like at an earlier time. Like I wonder how much I feel like back in the day people followed for like the quality of the videos visually as opposed to like what you put onto the table, at, or at least some people did. Um, so, like, the Skylanders playthroughs, like, I wonder how radically different that would be had I had a better capture card at the time. Like, how many more subscribers will I, would I have gained? Personally, I don't really care much. Um, but it is interesting to think about. Um, but yeah, Sam and I, Sam had a capture card, and we went to his, and we played all of Turn B. And by we, I mean he, because he hadn't played it before and I wanted him to. Um, so we were just like, hey, we can do this thing, and we did that thing, and it was a good time. Um, I really enjoyed that playthrough. It was good. It was good. It was good! Not this door. We may be here for a while. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm convinced this is the 10,000 year old man, but what if it's not? What if this is actually the one? No, it's the 10, it's the 1,000, not 10,000, 1,000. Yeah, it is. I thought so, because it's a special door made of made of wood. Um, so I, I figured that that was the, the one. Um, where have I not been? I mean, I could just look it up, but that's cheating. Well, the internet is unhelpful. They did not tell me, but I did not check this door. <laughs> I bet it's this door. Is it this door? I would laugh if it was. It is! It's this guy. Oh, I wasn't seeing it. Okay, cool. So what you need to do is you need to equip the, uh, the jewel of fire, like so. Use the jewel of fire, and when you do, things burn. I definitely made it too easy this time. See ya! Alright then, see ya then. So, yeah, and then you get some cheese, and then you get um, a big old bun uh, a big old bunch, a big old blo lunch box. Um, I think you just turn it off by unclipping it. Yeah, we don't need it. Um, so, yeah, that's that, except we're not done. Wait, there's more. Um, you can't use Baron inside the house. Okay. Um, I like how it was, like, the last room we we spotted. Um, also, like, none of the... None of the guides told you where the door was, like, at all. It was very unhelpful. But hey, we found it in the end. Um, so, yes. Uh, now we need to go to... Ooh. Oh! Interesting. It would be Phoenix Mountain, but it's not there. Like, it's in the lava caves, but there's no warp to it. Interestingly. Um, or interesting, not interesting, whatever. Um, so, yes, this is it. This is the final quest we have not done yet. Um, and I will 
complete it, it shouldn't take too long. Um, because there are 130 quests within the game, um, and I didn't realise that at first because the game is kinda not ambiguous about it, but like, I'll show you what I mean, the events menu looks weird, um, just because of the nature of how it operates, um, and I think it's a bit misleading at times, um, so I'll show you what I mean. Um, no, that's not events. Um, no, 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 no. Um, so if we go to select events. So, in terms of, so there's Grandpa's Bracelet at the beginning, which is the first one, and you can't clear that until the game is over. Um, and you've got 126 out of 130. It doesn't say 130 all the time, it is the amount you have unlocked. Um, and it doesn't specify the maximum amount. Just trust me, it's 130. Um, but yeah, there's these two, which are the two final quests outside of Grandpa's Bracelet. But there's nothing else on this page, strangely enough. But then there's way more. I think it's because these are mandatory and these are optional. But it's still very odd that that's how they did it. Um, so yes, th this is the technically the final one, the Flower Tower. Um, but yeah, so that's that's why I say it's a bit awkward, because it's just like, okay, how do you technically know that first? Um, and the answer is simple, you don't. <laughs> um, but hey, we, we got them all, and this is this is where the uh, the secret village is. The hidden village, Yan of the Hidden Village, here is his abode. We are going to talk to him, and he's going to give us a sixth golden item, which isn't one of the main golden items. Bit confusing, I know, but here he is. Hi, I've been waiting for you. I've tried hiding from you ever since the day I met you, but you found me every time. I had a lot of fun playing with you. In honor of our friendship, I'll give you something really useful information. I'll, no, sorry, I will read that wrong. I'll give you some really useful information. Somewhere there's a place called the Flower Tower. Where is it? Eh, that's something you have to find for yourself. But I've heard that there are certain things you need to do before you can find it. Oh, I almost forgot. Here's a present from me. I think you'll find it useful. So this is the golden bowl. It is incredibly useful because look at our health. Okay, our health isn't actually shown. Let me warp somewhere else. Then look at our health. Um, since we're here, let's go... No, not Mushroom Forest. I didn't mean to do that. Circle. I, it's weird because like PS1 games you need to do triangle to go back and it's only modern games You really need to press circle to go back out of menus, but this game is the opposite It actually requires circle and it's very very weird, but it's actually asking out of me um, This isn't where I wanted to go. Anyway, either way uh, look at my health. It doubled. We have 16 pieces of health now It's incredibly handy um, So that's pretty cool um, I think it's Dwarf Forest I want. Uh, underground maze. Yeah, here we go so yeah, that's super, super handy, uh, and I love it. I think it's really cool. Um, so yeah, we did it. We have beaten the game, with the exception of the final boss, which we're about to do. So yeah, it's very exciting, I think. Um, before we go to the final boss room, I would like to save, because I think... I don't know, I have a feeling there isn't a save point. I don't know why I have that feeling. I kind of wish I saved the flower place now. Because um, there isn't a save point here. That is odd. Um, you might be able to save after the game is over. But I do not recall. You might also be able to save in the room. I feel like you can't. Once you get all seven friends, it's just like, nope, you're done. Um, but, oh well, we'll find out, I guess. Um, so what I'm actually going to do is because, you know, I made no secret of I'm playing this on an emulator, we're going to quit the game, save state 1, and, oh look, save, so we saved. Haha, -ha! if I need to save, I can. I can do it later. But yes, here we go. Oh, I can save. Okay, cool, cool, cool. That's good. I wasn't sure. So we're going to save here. Yes, please. Um, we are going to save and say, a strange small room. Um and see how different it all is. Um, yeah, we did it. So there we go. We've saved in the strange small room. This is everything. We have, let me just absolutely confirm, we have 127 of 130. We most certainly do. We're ready to finish this. Let's go. Wait until you get back. Two friends come straight here. We're missing a friend. 
Which friend are we missing? Wait, we are missing a friend. Wait, what? Oh dear. I believe the person I'm missing is here in Bacchus Village. If I'm understanding this correctly. Is there someone here maybe? Uh, I don't know exactly. It says they're in the southeast corner. Oh, southeast. That's southwest. That would be why I can't find them. Is it you? Yes, it is! No problemo, I'll take care of the bowls. Oh, oh, look at me, I can do it. So that's cool. We got that. Now we just need to go back to the strange small room. There we go. Now we're ready to finish this. We good to go, yeah! Do -do 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 -do. Tell you what, I'm kind of glad that I lost the stream because it's been nice playing this again. It's been really lovely. Hmm, we still need one more. What shall we do? Arf. Seven friends! Baron? Why, sure, Baron is Tumba's friend too. L look, the gate! I it's opening. Tomba, you finally made it. I've been waiting for you. I'm the ultimate evil pig that created all of the other evil pigs. Did you have fun fighting the others? I made those for people like you to have fun. That's right. To me, this whole battle is a game. With you, Tomba, this whole world is like... Like... A gigantic toy box! This may be hard to understand right now. Anyway, let's have fun. Come and get me, if you can! Voice inspired by his PS... Uh, his PS2, his Tumbi 2 voice. Uh, the, that is the evil pig. Uh, spoilers, the evil pigs are in Tumbi 2. And, uh, yeah, this this one, whilst a slightly different design, is basically the same one. Um, at least I think so. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, so, yeah, he, he also says similar things. Um, about how this is a game that he likes to play. And like the other pigs, he's just as easy. <laughs> so, game over! The fight was won. Okay, that looks a bit silly, but you know, it works. Ah, you've made it. You've, uh, done an excellent job. I indeed, this constant will finally return to the way it was before. I guess it was just lucky. <laughs> Come again? You were more worried about him than the rest of us. Don't want to admit it, eh? What, uh, what the heck are you talking about? Not in a million years. They say the memory is the first thing to go, you know, you senile old. Hey, calm down, both of you. Anyhow, we owe it all to this young man. His courage saved us all. Indeed. In the end, we have all achieved our goals. Well done, well done. What? You're heading back home already? Really? Well, just remember our spirit will always stay close to you, Todma. You can always come back here and count on us. Yeah, look after yourself. Uh, take care, Sonny. Stay out of trouble. Don't get sick. Um, what else was I gonna say? Now whose memory is fading, eh, Gramps? <laughs> Stay young, kid. And that is Tumba, or Tumbi, or Tumbo, or Tumbi, or Tombo. It's not, it's just Tumba or Tumbi. And sometimes Tombai, sometimes Y. Anyway. I love this music, so I'll let you enjoy it.
and he never got his bracelet back. Thank you very much, Whoopi Camp. You are awesome. It's a shame that you had to go bust, but we loved you. You were great. We did it. Events found 130. Events cleared 130. Five and a half hours of playtime. 200, no, 2 million, 200, no. Yeah, 2 million, 221,400 points. Good stuff. We did it. We beat the game and that's the game over. You get nothing else. But yeah, that, that was a lot of fun. I have no idea if um, saves carry over from PS1 game to another PS game, PS1 game on emulator. I'm hoping it does because Tumbi 2, Tumbi 2, whatever you want to call it, has actually got some events that carry over from Tumbi 1 to the second Tumbi. So if so, sweet, we'll do that. But uh, I do want to do Tumbi 2 again, uh, Tumbi 2 soon because I have really enjoyed playing Tumbi. But uh, yes, thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the playthrough. I'm glad I was actually able to finish it because I was worried when I realised it wasn't actually the finale. But uh, yes. I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.